Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. I have two big announcements that are coming from Japan for the XRP community, so let's get right to it. The first one is CoinCheck. Of course, this is the exchange that was hacked this last year in January, some $500 million were taken in the form of mostly NEM, and the FSA came down on them very heavy and made many improvement orders and work orders, which they jumped through all those hoops and they successfully were able to get back in business. Uh, in doing so, the Monex Group took them over. So if you remember the last video I did, the company that is a Ripple spinoff called Global ID, Monex Ventures, which is under the Monex Group, uh, was one of the companies that brought that six million dollar round of funding to Global ID. So it's just amazing how interwoven all of these companies are. But the great thing about this is that the Monex Group is very, very powerful. And I do believe this uh, addition of RIP of XRP, I know the uh, <laughs> the article here says Ripple. People just can't, still just can't separate the two, but you, we all know that what they're trying to say is XRP. But the holders of XRP and Factum are really going to benefit from CoinCheck adding them. And if we take a look at the official press release today, we can see that um, it is now totally available for depositing and purchasing on the CoinCheck site. And what I found interesting here is that you can actually fund your account through the convenience stores. Now, it may be something that you don't quite get, but there are 50,000 convenience stores in Japan, one almost on every corner. And sometimes you can be at an intersection and there's one at every corner. Uh, they just don't sell food and drink, but they have a very clean toilet to use. So it's like really convenient. You're never, ever searching for a toilet. Um, ATMs, free wire, Wi-Fi. You can pay your utility bills. You can pay your cell phone bill. You can pay insurance. They have a pickup and delivery, just like you would be walking into a, a UPS location. They even, you know, if you are traveling and you come in internationally and you don't want to carry your luggage on the train, you can check it in and arrange to have it sent to the nearest convenience store and you can go pick it up uh, either later that same day or the next day. So uh, they are just unbelievably convenient. Um, but I was just kind of surprised. Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but I really was surprised. Oh my gosh, you can just walk into the convenience store and fund your coin check account. That is pretty amazing. So uh, one of 50,000, you are just within probably one to two minutes walk in Tokyo to every convenience store in this city. The second big announcement is, I just want everyone to remember, this is not the announcement, but I just want everyone to remember that in the SBI slides that came out on July 31st, um, we really were um, reminded that the remittance platform, which is SBI Remit, is the next generation remittance platform by US Ripple with its distributed ledger technology, DLT, XRAPID, reinforced by digital asset XRP. I just wanted to make sure everybody remembered that. And also to just have a second look at the SBI remit countries and regions that can be remitted to. So we have the Philippines, China, Vietnam, Indonesia, Thailand. Thailand was recently a big announcement. Remember, they were so thrilled with the Bank of Siam and their experience with SBI remit that they decided to be a hub 
for Southeast Asia. That, that just occurred like in the last couple of weeks. Then there's Myanmar, Cambodia, Brazil, Peru, Nepal, which is part of the announcement, Sri Lanka. And let me tell you what is happening. So with this Remittance International Money Transfer Service, SBI has signed a joint venture. Actually, it occurred on the 22nd, but I'm just letting you know today because it actually went under my radar until yesterday. So they basically have 450,000 registered users. 90% are living in Japan. And this this new information with Nepal is a joint venture, venture that is to expand international, international money transfer businesses globally with City Express Group. They are located in Kathmandu, Nepal. And from Asia, so many Asians are working in Arab nations. It has gone up trifold. Uh, in terms of increase since 1990, 35.6% of the workforce in the Arab nations come from Asia. So this new ven joint venture is going to be with a company called City Express Group, and they are a money hub for UAE. And SBI's transfer service now will be able to reach into these Arab countries. So working with that partner in Nepal, the venture will create growth and maximum value. It really is a great announcement. And then I just wanted to lastly share about the 2018 Tokyo Japan Blockchain Tech Summit. It's just a one day event, but boy, was I surprised? And you know, it's free. I'm so happy that Japan isn't ripping people off who are attending these, at least not yet. But in this tech summit, there is going to be the ex prime minister of Japan, who's the keynote. There's also the president of Mitsubishi China is going to speak and some really great powerful politicians, including one that is Kazuyuki Hamada. He is a big guy. He's, a, he's an international uh, political economist. He has his PhD from the George Washington University in political science. science. He's also a consultant for the Congressional Research Sur Service, which is basically the United States Congress think tank. And he, you know, it's a research arm actually of the US Congress. And I'm thinking to myself as I'm, you know, reading all the key speakers and people, I'm just, yeah, jaw down with the quality and who is getting into this space. So you can just kind of take a look for yourself if you should be interested. But the people are very prominent and important. And a, this particular summit in particular has a lot of people connected to China. A lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, so yeah, wow, we get into the fluff. So did you hear that Osaka, Japan was announced as the 2025 location for Expo. And that's big news here. So not only did we have the Olympics in 2020, but then we have the World Expo to look forward to just five years after that. And it's gonna take place in Osaka, which is just about two hours by bullet train from Tokyo and the site is a man-made island called Yume Shima. Yume means dr uh, dream and Shima is island. So it's going to be on Dream Island. And if we just kind of look at one of just, we'll just take a peek at the promotion video. Oh, I want to stop. So here's Tokyo. 
here is Tokyo right here. And this is Osaka. So you can see the distance, how far away it is. It's not that far, but it's far enough they actually have Kansai Ben, which is a dialect that is unique to that area. The food is fabulous, better than Tokyo, people say. You know, in Tokyo, to Tokyo has more Michelin restaurants than London, Paris. What is it? <laughs> more than London, Paris, and New York combined. Yeah, Tokyo has more. So I always think Tokyo is the food mecca, but locals in Japan tell me that Osaka has even better food than Tokyo. So let me see here. There you go. There's Kyoto. It's right next to Kyoto too. So if you don't make it to the Olympics and Nara, Nara is the old um, ancient capital. So there's a lot to see down in this area. I mean, you, if, if you go to Osaka and then also um, see Kobe, which is an international port, one of the first ports opened up to foreigners, along with Kyoto, which is has all the World Heritage uh, locations, um, so many different World Heritage sites, and then Nara, which is the ancient capital. I mean, you can keep yourself busy for many days in this area and not even see Tokyo. And I think you'll have a good time. So it is, um, has a theme and the focus is sustainable future society by sharing the world's ideas. So the purpose is to bring all these participants together and solve the global issues with people's living lab. And I think it's going to be very interesting and I'm no doubt it's going to add some uh, wonderful new solutions to making this a better planet. All right, everybody, that's all I have for you today. Please take care. Sayonara for now. Bye-bye.